and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Then we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. You want to burn away body fat for the billionth, millionth time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spot reduction is a myth. Mm. Do this instead. By the way, at the end, we're also going to show you a new exercise product that we're kind of excited about. Okay, Bob, say no more. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a new second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Go to bobandbrad.com, and you'll find the giveaway section. Yes. And we're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away a booyah stick. Brad's Here it is, Bob. Up. Great for shoulder booyah. problems and posture and balance. also balance. You'll find the contest also pinned to the top of the page on Facebook. Go to Twitter or Instagram or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program every day. Excellent. We've all seen the videos, Brad. How to get rid of belly fat, burn away belly fat. How to get rid of arm fat, right? Yeah. The, under the arm. Yep. How to Double get rid chin. Of, yeah, how to get rid of the thigh fat. No, you can't do it through spot reduction. It just does not work. It, it's been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. You can't spot reduce. So, like, for example, if you're working on your abdominals muscles and your core, that's not going to reduce the body fat right here. Right. The body's going to take the, the reduction in fat where it wants to. Right. Uh, there's some genetics involved. There's a number of things. But if you think you're going to reduce the fat here by doing sit-ups, you're going to definitely tone up the muscles. Right. Get them You'll have toned muscles underneath the fat right. is basically what right. you're going to have. Right. Same with triceps. If you're working triceps, you know, you want to get rid of this, yeah. you'll have strong muscles underneath the fat. Right. Same with thighs and muscles you know, around, you know, that are in the inner thigh there. You can strengthen them, but you're not going to get rid of the fat. By no means are we saying you should not exercise or exercise these muscle groups, but just don't think that because you exercise that muscle group, you're going to lose weight right there. Your diet is going to be the big key. Exactly. And, and it's a combination. It. Diet exercise is great, but. Yeah, well, and we'll talk about that. Now, you can build muscles site-specific. Sure. We all know that, right? You can build your chest muscles. Mm. You can build your biceps, triceps, glutes, quads, calves. You know, all those you can work on a specific area. Right. You just can't reduce fat. Fat reduction, kind of as a general rule of thumb again, fat reduction occurs at the dinner table. <laughs> Strengthening occurs at the gym. That's right. kind of a general right. phrase you might hear once in a while. So you need to burn more calories at the gym if you want to reduce fat. Right. So now we're not dietitians, Brad and I, obviously. Right. But I think we can make three statements about things if you want to reduce fat. Sure. In taking your, and, your, and reduce the fat output, basically, in your body. Basically, number one, you got to decrease the amount of sugary drinks that you drink. Like, especially those fruit juices, they're terrible. Right. So just full of sugar. Sport and, drinks oftentimes right. are a lot of sugar. Good point, Brad. And it doesn't really matter. I just look at the, 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 the sugars on what you're eating. It, not only just drinks, but the, the food you eat, all these carbohydrates. Uh, we've done a lot of studies on this over the last couple of years and had great success ourselves in losing weight without cutting down. Around the abdomen. Yeah, too. absolutely. Look at our old videos. You can see. We oh got my puffy shirts. and God, I got a video from four years ago of swimming. I don't even like to look at it anymore. You um, Actually, Brad, you did a video that showed the sports drink was similar in sugar or had more sugar than a can of pop. Yeah, the regular the Pepsi or Coke that with all the sugar, you might as well just drink that because it had the similar had amount the same of sugar. Amount. Just that it was carbonated. And as Brad kind of alluded to, you don't want to eliminate your carbs, but you want to watch the refined sugars. Right. You know, the white bread and, of course, candy. Right. Um, and, again, the sugary drinks right. and the carbs. Definitely made a big difference in my life, just decreasing the carbs. Yep. I mean, even if you just – Get rid of the bread in your life. That alone can make a big right, difference. Right. I yeah. cut down uh, 90% of the breads. Well, ice cream. <laughs> Although I still really like it. And, and no pastas. I, I'm not a big pasta eater anyways. Uh, but like for oatmeal, I'll eat uh, organic, steel-cut 
oatmeal. Sure. And it's, uh, this is wonders for me. And it's a carbohydrate, but it's not refined. Well, pastas, Brad, I've been eating a lot of the whole grain pastas. Sure. And you got to look at the ingredients to make sure they really are whole grain. Yeah. But yeah. that made a big difference. I mean, I, I, you still can get your pasta fix and, <laughs> and and uh, decrease your carbs. Exactly. Um, eat more fiber too. Fiber fills you up and it keeps you regular and um, <laughs> it, it's going to help with the body fat too. Right. Now, right. in addition to that, you do want to do some resistance training. Sure. Uh, because when you do resistance training, not only burning calories while you're doing it, but you continue to burn calories after you're done. Right. So, for example, if you do some... That's why we always want you to do some weight training. Yeah, you know, through and usually we do work on separate body parts depending on the day of the week because you always right. want to give a day of rest at least and, after you've done a body part. And I do want to clarify, Bob, weight training and resistance training are the same thing. I do a lot of resistance training, but I do no weight training. Sure, I, all mine is with bands because it's yeah. so. I really like it, and there's a lot of benefits Easier on the joints. Right. Uh, so whatever works best for you, that resistance training, uh, I found, I, I never used to resistance train. All I did was aerobic bike, swim, and uh, running. And, you know, I changed in the last three years to start doing resistance training. And I realized that over the next day, I, I'm burning more calories. It, it's amazing. I, I got to eat more and not gain any weight. And the muscles are, you know, are basically trying to recover, and that's why they're burning a little more calories while exactly. they're, they're going through that. Right. And now, then I start bulking up too. Well, you notice. start bulking up, and yeah, no, you did. But also, as you get older, you start becoming weaker, and so right. you got to make up for that. Exactly. If you don't do anything differently. You can lose like five percent of your strength a year, and believe uh -huh. me, that doesn't take long before you're down to zero. <laughs> right, and then more chance for falls and all, right. all these other uh, right. problems that come along with it. So you can do cardio too, but with cardio, we re recommend the high intensity interval training, the HIIT. Right. Uh, basically, quite often you're doing really high intensity for like a minute, and then you're resting for a right. minute. That's uh, you know, there's a lot of variations on that. There is. It really can do a lot. I I still like to do the long duration exercise because it gives me a chance to I do both. air my head out. But yeah, yeah the, the, very the, stress reducing. The hit is uh, less time consuming. Yes. If you have a time issue, you'll get the cardiovascular benefits. I, again, I like to do a little bit of both, yeah. almost even most, most days. We're good to include both. All right. Now we're going to bring in that new product that we were talking about, Brad, that we're all excited about. Mike? Bring it on in. Mike, oh. finally good for something, huh? Rolls it in on two He's wheels. wearing black. Man in black can now leave. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually made by the Teeter Company, which actually makes inversion tables. Which we really do like because they're... Uh, High quality. They are. Yeah. I, I really like them. So I, I found it very interesting that Teeter... A man named Teeter made an inversion table like a teeter top. Right. I, I wonder if he changed his name. I don't know. I, know, I, I think I would, we looked that up. I don't think he did. we got to find that out. So this is called the LT1, uh, Free Step LT1. And uh, they're trying to compete a little bit with the New Step. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the New Step. More of a commercial model. Right. But this is a model that you can use at your home. It is a little more exp expensive maybe than some home equipment. I don't know. Um, it's 750 bucks. Right. It seems to be pretty reasonable to me. Compared what to the New Step or other models like the New Step, those are in the thousands. Right. New Step, stripped down version, at least 4,000 bucks. You yeah. might. I think it's more than that, actually. Yeah, I think it actually could go up to like 7,000 very rapidly. So this has different resistance. And as you can see, despite me being very tall, it fits me quite well. You, you, what are you, six foot? I'm six foot six. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm five foot ten, and I had that adjusted for me, and it just easily adjusted for Bob. What I want to show you on this is I'm not using my arms here because you can really get humming on this thing. And so you can get high-intensity interval training on sure. this where you can work it hard for a minute, and it, then you can calm down and rest, you know, Take your, right. your cardio down right. a little bit for, and a you minute. certainly can use arms can with use that arm, as yep. well to get more muscle groups and involved. There's and there's resistance, so you can actually get some almost leg resistance because once you got to set up at the highest setting, right? If it, you want to get that resistance training without so much cardio, and it's just a little knob that you turn. It, it it's yeah, it's, it's back here. Right. We'll but, do a full review yeah. on this thing. I like the fact too that um, 
it, it like I said, it adjusts for me and, and it fits for me. And I also like the fact that it's got a great seat. The lumbar support yeah, is I like adjustable. Biking. I like biking, you know, but this thing uh, really gives a good seat. Unless you have a recumbent bike, mm -hmm. you're not going to get this right. kind of support while you're working out here. So. And it's extremely quiet, which is a oh, big advantage exactly. for the home. This thing is whisper quiet. I've mm. never seen anything that, I mean, you can watch TV and-, and You've never uh, seen anything that quiet? I've never heard <laughs> that quiet. Uh, I, had, right. I had to get that one. Uh, and as you can see, it, it is movable. It yeah. is. Um, yep. Even Brad with his. Yeah. You know, I'm not afraid stay. of it. Yep. We'll see you Goodbye. later. Remember Brad and I can fix just about anything. Oh yeah, that's right. Except for. A broken heart. But you, you know, we might have the answer right here. Well, it's part of the puzzle, Bob. Once again, we continue to be. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> wow. Thanks for watching.